The Platform Improvement Project is one of the biggest construction projects we've done since opening the system. When we started to think about the condition of our platforms across the system, the platforms were crumbling. We have a number of them that needed repair, roughly 20 of them. This project was funded primarily through the dedicated revenues that we've received last year. That allowed us to do a lot of maintenance work that we had deferred in the past. It required both local and our state partners to come to the table, not only with the money to do the project, but then the support to make the project go smoothly. The purpose of the Platform Improvement Project was to get out and make our outdoor station safer and more accessible to our public. We had a very successful summer where we were able to get out and fix six of the stations south of National Airport. In addition to getting out and fixing the platforms, we were able to get out and put in the new non-slip tile. We were able to get out and put in some customer amenities, such as USB charging ports and charging stations, new LED lighting, better public address systems, and larger passenger information displays. The summer shutdown enabled us to provide our contractor with 24-hour access to get out and get this work done. We had dedicated teams for each project site where they weren't competing for resources, they weren't competing for personnel. It reduced inconvenience to our passengers that would have occurred over maybe even as long as a three-year period. We were able to condense that down to a three-month period. Doing this work under a summer shutdown is by and large the most efficient and the smartest way to accomplish this type of work. Well, the Platform Improvement Project is possibly one of the most exciting programs we have right now at WMATA. I believe this program touches all three aspects of the mission. First and foremost, it's about safety, making sure the platforms that our customers stand on are safe for them. It's also about reliability. All of the track work that we get done and the improvements within the station improve the quality and reliability of the service for our customers. And finally, I think it's an important part of fiscal responsibility. Prior to us starting the Platform Improvement Project, we had a lot of experiences attempting these as standalone contracts, as well as safe track. And so what you see in the Platform Improvement Program now is really the culmination of lessons learned from both of those, as well as each year of the Platform Improvement Program, we were getting smarter about how we execute these contracts. The platform work itself is very invasive. We actually have to get down on the track bed, tear apart the platform and rebuild it. But while you're doing that, you could also advance a lot of other track work that's away from the station. This work in the context of these summer shutdowns really allows us to do it in a much more cost-effective manner, making our capital dollars go farther. Regional partners were involved in this project from day one. We needed them for their support in getting the word out to our customers, but more importantly, to help support the day-to-day -day operations. They did that by providing people, providing us access to lanes just for bus. They did it by providing bus service. Internally, it took every office imaginable to work on this project. Externally, the same sort of effort went into it. Everyone should be very proud of that. We are taking the approach that we want to get these done as quickly as we can with us least paying to our customers, but also recognizing the safety concerns that we have on the platforms.